Well, I've come out here today because I live in an unofficial halting site on Dunsink Lane. So um, we've, I've been living there for the last 15 years. We're living without basic water and basic facilities. We have um, no electricity. We've been on to Fingal County Council for the last 15 years trying to get it in either traveller group housing scheme or um, a halting site to cater for traveller, our traveller needs, our traveller specific, specific needs, as we all want to live together, we want to be housed together, it's part of our traveller culture. Um, we're protesting today because so many traveller families haven't been delivered traveller specific accommodation. We've got no electricity, no, no running water, we wouldn't have any showers, we wouldn't have any heating, so um, they're the conditions that are faced on site. And the, the health of the travellers is not improving either because with the conditions that they're living in. There has been 7.5 million euros recouped by the government from Fingal County Council that they didn't spend to deliver traveller specific accommodation. As a result, there are families such as the McDonald's without running water, electricity and sanitation. This is the third time that we've, we've had the traveller accommodation plan and there's nothing that came out of it so far. Travellers are just um, still living in the same circumstances as they have been and um, we just want to show our voice here today and in solidarity with um, all the other travellers around Ireland. It's a simple problem. It's, it's racism within our state that needs to be sorted. So that's why we're here today, to say sort it. Give travellers proper accommodation, proper housing. Simple. The thing we have fought for and fought hard for has been rolled back. And the reason why it's been rolled back and the reason why we're all here today supporting the McDonald family is because there's no political will to support travellers. Well, we're sending out the message today that we want traveller specific accommodation, we want choice. Everybody doesn't want the same thing, we just want choice. And for any local authorities that are saying there's no money out there, well they need to account, especially Finger County Council, for the seven million that they sent back while this family was waiting for accommodation. So at the moment our family do feel a bit hopeless, but looking around here today there is hope, and we're not going to give up hope that we will be accommodating travel specific accommodation. What do we want? Travel!